Welcome back, parents, to Teenager Tuesday, your favorite podcast on Tuesday about teenagers. My name is Elijah Keck. I'm the student pastor at the McKinney campus. With me today, we have Nate Stuckey, the Prosper student pastor. How you doing, Nate? I'm doing good. What's going on, parents? Excited to be with you today. Yeah. We got a good topic. It's good. What is the topic? I don't even know. Yeah. So what we're going to talk about today is how to help your student connect at Hope Students if they're not connecting. Man. Right? Because like our goal, we wish yeah. that like every student walked in, day one, best friends. Day one, best night of their life. But if we're being honest, and you know, parents, that's not always the case. Sometimes it's, uh, they feel like they don't know anyone. Sometimes they feel like they don't fit in right away or they're trying to figure out if they want to be there. And so if they're having a hard time connecting, we want to kind of offer you some tips yeah. on things that maybe you could do or, or ways you could kind of help them to get plugged in and connected at Hope Students. So For sure. So we have five of these, five tips to help. So if you have notes, <laughs> get your notes out because yeah. it's going to be good. First one, Nate, what is the first tip that we have? Here's the first thing. Consistency is key. Yep. Uh, in order to get a student to plug in, if they come once every six weeks, it's gonna be incredibly difficult. Like I think about it like this. If your student was starting high school for the first time or, or going to a new school and they walk in on day one, most of the time they're like, I didn't meet a lot of friends. I don't know a lot of people. Yeah. But the reason that it seems like students always find friends in school is because they go every day like every weekday. It's a, it's a right. regular thing that they expect. And so that gives them the opportunity to build relationships. And we think that with student ministry, it's really not that different. Like yeah. if they're coming every week, there's a good chance they're going to make friends. They have to make friends. Yeah, eventually they're going to make friends. They're going to get connected to their small group, things like that. So like something that I think is a great idea to, to kind of like ask your student like, hey, could, how about we go for three months? We just go every single week and we try it. And at the end of that, we'll reevaluate. That's a great like start. Yeah. Right. To just see like, hey, you've not gone just once because every student's gonna be like, oh, like I didn't know anyone. It wasn't <laughs> great. And if you just go like, oh, don't worry about it, we won't go, they're never gonna connect. So that's sure. the first one. Yeah. I love that. And I definitely believe in that. I mean, get your students, especially if they are if I mean if if you're driving them, just drive them. I mean, yeah, make them go. If sometimes you have to make your student go, get them to connect. That is so important. So yeah. um, second one, I love this. If your student doesn't immediately make a friend, which might not happen. Um, bring a friend with you. Yeah. Bring bring a friend with your students. Have them invite somebody who doesn't go to our church to come with them. It's an easy it's an easy fix because they're like, well, I'm not connecting. Man, bring a friend that you're you're automatically connected with. You don't have to do anything by yourself. You're always going to be with them. It's super easy. And you need to know this about our campuses. Most I think Prosper is the only campus that doesn't have this. But McKinney, Frisco East, Frisco West, there's tons of high schools that are there. So most likely they might not know someone that is from their school that goes to our church. Mm. So it's kind of hard. They're, they have to get out of their show a little bit. So an easy way to fix that is like, hey, bring someone from your school, someone that you're friends with, and bring them with you. Totally. You yeah. have a guaranteed friend. No doubt, man. Easy. I've seen, so many times I've seen this, like take a student that felt uncomfortable and help them feel comfortable quickly. Right. It just takes one friend sometimes for you to have a great experience. So I love that. The next one we got for you is to connect with your student small group leader. Because at, at Hope Students, every student goes into a small group. Right. And every group has a leader. And that leader, their full job there is to help them connect with the students around them and to connect with them. And so sometimes as a parent, you're going to know things about your student that would be helpful for a small group leader. Like, for sure. hey, my student loves football. My student loves band. Or, or these are the things he does. Well, that small group leader could be like, Oh, well, I know another student that loves football. Let me get them sitting by each other. Let's let's see if we can work together to create a good environment. Like we need all that info you got yeah, to come sure. to us so that we can do whatever we can to give them a great experience. So yeah. if that's walking in with your student and coming to first time guests, coming to check in, uh, man, find a student staff member. We would be happy to connect you with the small group leader yeah. so that you could kind of help bridge that gap. And the small group leaders, that's what they're there for. Right. right? They're there to make your student feel welcome and feel comfortable. And so the more that we know about your student, the easier that process is. Totally. Um, so that'd be a huge help. Next one, fourth, right? Here we go. Send your student to big events. It's big huge. events. So we have we have big events here at Hope. We have SKO, summer kickoff. We have movement. We have camp. We have one big party. We have all these incredible things. And the point of these things is to get people who don't feel comfortable, get people who don't go to our church, get people who aren't normal, like used to church. It's a fun night where they get to just be at our church and hopefully hear from Jesus and also connect to a great leader. So these are awesome nights for your students to come. It's not an awkward thing. Like there's so many first time guests that there's so many brand new people for sure. where they can kind of blend in a little bit, but also, man, it's just a fun night. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a fun night, a fun time. 
And man, I can't tell you how many students came to SKO and they're like, man, this is awesome. Came to camp, they're like, man, I'm all in on going. So you really want your student to, to plug in bring them to a big event. Yeah. And they, there's a good chance they're going to be like, man, this was awesome. Yeah, that's great. And I think even like within that group of events, like things that are multiple days in a row, it forces them to build relationships quickly. You yeah. Know? So like For mission sure. trips, movement, uh, camp, like those can be really great e experiences because like you're spending three straight days with these people. So like that, uh, it's naturally going to create connection. So right. uh, I love that. And, and really just our last thing that we wanted to encourage you is like, if you're listening to this and you're like, dude, my student is super connected man, feel free to send this to other parents. This can be such a hard thing yeah. for parents to walk through when they want to get their kids plugged into church, get their students connected, but they're having a hard time. And so maybe one of these tips will help them. Or maybe uh, you can offer to invite their student as a friend with your student or something like that and yeah. help connect with them to, to make this a great experience for all of them. So Yeah. And sometimes as a parent, you kind of have to do the dirty work of bringing people. Yeah. Like you, you want your students to connect. You want them to bring friends you be the parent that goes out of your way to, to invite that student, to, yeah. to invite the talk to that mom to, to bring their students um, because it's a big deal. You have to be a part of it. It's it's it's, it's a big deal to be a part of this situation. So, um, man, we love this. Uh, yeah. We hope that your students come. We hope that they connect and we hope that we uh, really connect them to God and connect them to an amazing leader. Uh, remember parents, this very important thing, you are not alone. You can do this. I said that wrong. You can do this. You are not alone. God is with you. And so are we. So are we.